Well, we've brought you news from the Detroit show, from the Tokyo show, from the London show, from the Paris show, from the Frankfurt show. And this week, we go to the world's car capital, Los Angeles, California. Well, the world's press turns up for the media day at the LA Auto Show, and Jaguar get a chance to show exactly what they can do on the world stage. And this is what they can do. This is the General Motors EV1, electric vehicle one, the car that's going to save the planet. And just look at all those crowds flocking to see it. Now, the Honda JVX is an alternative fueled vehicle in a completely different league. If you didn't get a detailed look at this car two or three months ago when it made its world debut at the Tokyo Motor Show, just sit back and enjoy it right now. Forget about that ugly EV1. This is how environmentally friendly cars of the future should look. A new Land Rover? Well, that's what the sign appears to say, doesn't it? But as you've probably gathered by now, this is, in fact, the Plymouth Prowler from the Chrysler stable in a new, not-so-mellow yellow shade. Here's another of those Tokyo show cars that's now popping up around the world. It's called the Ecom, and as its appearance and name suggests, it's another one of those electric cars that we're supposed to be driving around in in the very near future. Convertibles don't have bike racks, right? Well, wrong. This clever accessory from Porsche means you can carry your two-wheeler above your Porsche Boxster. Only problem I have with this is, uh, well, if you've got a Boxster, why would you ever want to climb out of it and onto your push bike? Go on, take one last sad look at this. This is the Rolls-Royce stand at the LA Motor Show, and this is one of the last times you'll ever see this great British company flying the flag for Britain. Because very soon, Rolls-Royce will be flying the flag for Germany. Hello, what's this? Finally, finally, some atmosphere and excitement at the LA Motor Show. Or is it? Well, actually, this is the new fully loaded Lexus LX470. No, your eyes do not deceive you. This is the Tabasco Wrangler from Jeep, complete with chili tire tread. No, I'm not joking. This was one of the hottest cars at the LA Show. Get it? Hot? Never mind. Now, you thought this was a Honda NSX, didn't you? Well, in fact, it's an Acura, a sports car that is probably being discounted more heavily than any other car in the world right now. I saw one of these on sale in LA with a $17,000, about 12,000 pounds discount off the official list price. Talk about one extreme to the other. On my way home from LA, I popped in on the Detroit show where I found the Jaguar stand stocked with plenty of cars and an airplane. How they got the thing into the Kobo Center in downtown Detroit, I just do not know. But I do know that the plane is on sale, complete with Jag upholstery and instrumentation. And the word is, if you have to ask how much it is, you can't afford it. 